Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Good morning. Welcome to Share Talk. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Justin Tooth, who is the executive chairman of FCR. Now, obviously, you've just heard me say FCR. Justin, would you like to tell us why it's FCR now? Yeah, good morning, Stephen. Thank you for having me. We are generally using the acronym FCR as our brand name at this point because of all of the other changes that are coming to the fore with the company. We are actually still legally Ferrum Crescent Limited, uh, but because we have moved away from iron ore, you know, which is where the word Ferrum comes from, uh, we are looking to a rebrand of the company. That's why our website has changed. That's why our new presentation will look completely different. And that really is all justified by the news that we've brought through this morning. And would you like to tell us about that news that's come through this morning in relation to your trial project, which is lead zinc? Yes, certainly. We are happy to announce that we have commenced drilling at the Toral project in northern Spain. It is, as you say, uh, a lead zinc uh, brownfield site. It was mined way back, uh, in fact, for zinc in the earlier part, sorry, for lead in the early part of the 20th century. But we are, uh, we are following up on the workings of others that had established a zinc resource at depth. Uh, we believe that there is a highly commercial deposit of zinc there in line with uh, the other uh, mines in the district. And we've got a reworking of the model that we are seeking now to prove up with the drill campaign, uh, which has just started. I spoke to our field geologists this morning. They've had a very successful transition through the overburden. All of the utilities are fine. All of the people are excited and uh, they'll be putting in uh, six days a week and it won't take long. This is a uh, 11 or 12 hole program for a couple of thousand meters, but it's exactly what we need uh, at the right cost and at the right speed to work up our understanding of the, uh, of the mineralization structures. So, if we can have a look at the project historically then, you've got known grades from the historic data and you obviously had a chat with Merlin, who's the sort of geologist on the ground, about the surface structures and you've obviously gone to the site and had a look at that. Is that how you've come about with this drill programme? Yes, so you're right. Um, Merlin Mar Johnson uh, introduced the project to us, having done a study on it for a previous owner. Uh, he, in, and in cons consultation with other technical um, directors, decided, uh, sorry, convinced us uh, that there was a lot more uh, to the Toral project than was previously understood, uh, with a, a, a reworking, a realignment of the uh, of the structures within the model and so uh the 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 historic uh resource that you allude to was was high grade uh, but at depth and that was because of the way it had been drilled historically with very wide stepped out uh drilling by by the state drilling company by lundin mining and others but what they have uh missed we believe and what they have uh not interpreted in, in, in correctly uh is that the dominant structures in that region are aligned in a different way and that we think that there are multiple uh, planar subvertical deposits uh, and we think that the, the surface showings that we now understand extremely well having conducted an extensive uh, ground campaign channel sampling uh, and geochemistry uh, surveys that what we're doing is essentially joining the dots between the historical high grade uh, deposits a resource at depth uh, to these surface showings. So our drill campaign, uh, they're, they're short drills. Uh, we're looking really in the top 150 meters just to make sure that we can intersect these uh, the, these um, deposits uh, and understand the orientation and the locations uh, within all of the other structures um, uh, and uh, fault lines, etc. Uh, for that, and that information will uh, take us a very important step forward 
in, in understanding uh, what we've got hold of here at Tyrol. So based against what you've seen, obviously, in all of that work and with the previous knowledge in place, what are the hopes and expectations in regards to the upgrades? So the as the core uh, comes out, we'll, we'll be able, we have a team of field geologists and they'll be looking, uh, as they always do, at the mineralization uh, available to the naked eye. But those, those cores will then be sent off for assaying. Uh, and we're also going to uh, put through uh, another sort of uh, mineralogical uh, study, which actually looks at the potential recovery rates from from any mineralization looking at the particle sizes etc um, for testing and um, th this will be actually the first time that this part of the hill at Tural has been properly analyzed uh, and what we hope for in terms of aspiration are decent uh, intersections in terms of thickness and grade, uh, much the same as with any drill campaign. Uh, and m most importantly for us is, is just firming up our understanding of the precise location of these, uh, uh, of these zinc deposits um, so that we can continue to create value with the drill bit. And the, the important point of all of this is that this is the first time that FCR has been adding value with the drill bit for many years. Uh, and th this, this day uh, is an important milestone in the journey that we've been through over the last 18 months or so, moving from a company that was focused on basically trying to get a deal away uh, with regards to a bulk uh, magnetite deposit in, uh, in the Limpopo district of South Africa, uh, which was a, a, a difficult thing for other people to value. Uh, and now we are a, a proper exploration company with drills turning on a really exciting mineral that we think is going to continue to accrete in value over the medium term, that is zinc, uh, in, a, in, a, in a mining friendly region of, uh, of a Western European nation. And so today is, uh, is a really important kind of um, rebirth, if you like, for FCR. And I think that now, once we get this story told and once the news flow now starts to come through from the drill campaign and from future campaigns uh, that will start to accrete and will start to catch up in value to the other zinc plays out there uh, and we're every bit as good as a number of zinc uh, listings out there which have substantially higher valuations. In regards to the way forward then, if your hopes and expectations are met, what is the plan to actually create shareholder value in developing the project? Yeah, we are, we are the company is is basically come through a, a long period of gestation uh, and it's now really into its its proper development rate. So the company will will grow out and build out uh, as our valuation increases. We'll we need to. Uh, to make sure that we keep a very tight control on the cost structures, uh, but we need to make sure that we, we are geologically led. And so we will be um, adding to the, uh, the, the technical team that we have. Uh, we already have an excellent uh, drill campaign manager. Uh, we have an excellent head of geology down in Spain. Uh, we have other consultants um, that speak to us, but we want to bring in uh, more geological strength uh, into the senior management and, uh, and at board level. Uh, and that will happen uh, now we're at the right stage to attract and retain um, the, the, the people of the calibre that uh, we, we want to have. And so the, the, the question of adding value will be uh, to, uh, we hope, uh, be smart with the drill and we'll continue to be smart, smart with how we spend our shareholders' resources. In regards to, obviously, future funding or a direction within FCR, is the plan to bring on a strategic partner? or No. Uh, at the moment, uh, our plan is to continue uh, the, 
with, the, with the existing strategy, which is that uh, we will uh, we, we will drive this project ourselves until we've we've grown it to a much much larger state. And what is the plans? Obviously, you want to, you've got a very well known and defined resource in place. Will you be looking to sell or joint venture partner? Yeah, the the reality is that there is a lot of interest in uh, in economically mineable zinc at the moment. I would imagine that once we get our resource up to a certain stage, people will come looking. But our our mantra is to deliver maximum value to the shareholders, uh, and that will mean taking every opportunity on its own merits at the time. But I think we've got a long, long way to go at Toral. I think it's a very big uh, hill, and if it's anything like uh, Rubiales, and we think it's we think it's every much uh, a bit of uh, like Rubiales, uh, then we've got uh, several years of exciting news flow uh, to to bring through, and that's that's of course what we, what everybody hopes for when the drills start turning, as they have today at Taral. So with this drill project, you've obviously put a time scale of around ten weeks before the project is actually done. What is the plan after those ten weeks is concluded? It's entirely dependent on the results, Stephen, from the assays. But uh, under one course of action um, that I've outlined, uh, we will have uh, a, a set of knowledge from intersections of the mineralization. Uh, and then we will look to see how best to uh, accelerate the, the, the resource development. And that'll, that'll mean a, a combination of, uh, of assays, of, uh, of, mineraliz of, of uh, mineralogy testing, and of further confirmation drilling. And will the plan be to put a Jork compliant resource against what it is you found? Yes, uh, we, we won't be doing that off this particular, uh, off, off this phase one drilling because it's a, it's a, it's a, the, the structure of it is 2,000 metres in a bit uh, spread across a, uh, several zones, etc. So this is, uh, this won't in itself have a Jork 2012 uh, resource attached to it, but it'll give us a very, very good uh, indication of um, which way we should uh, proceed thereafter. Okay, Justin, is there anything further that you would like to cover? Only that uh, th this draw campaign uh, should take less than 10 weeks. Uh, we, we put in a conservative time because we don't want to um, uh, we, don't, we don't want to under deliver against that kind of thing um, but I can just assure everybody that the team down there on the ground is extremely positive and working hard and uh, very excited uh, that we are now um, an exploration company proper uh, with drills turning and we're feeling very very good about our current circumstances. Justin from FCR, thank you for your time today. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.